Ronnie Dahl, four wheeling in Australia. We are in New South Wales. We are on our way to the Drifter fans event the, um, well, of 2018. So it's going to be, today's Friday, it's going to be three days of hanging out with other camping enthusiasts. And right now we are driving up and down hills. Uh, Torbs, do you want to inform us where we are? We are in New South Wales, uh, Gloucester, if I am correct. Yep, Gloucester, and we're on our way to Cobark. Awesome party time with Drifter. There's going to be quite a few people there we're going to hang out with. Obviously, Luke's going to be there, who's running the whole event. And we're also going to have a look at all different camp setups and... Uh, oh, and, and the other cool thing, there's a lot of patrons. Patrons from Patreon who are making all this possible with the channel. We have an exclusive area where it's just us and the Patreons, right next to the drift area. So that's going to be really cool to hang out with all the people that are supporting the, the actual channel and just everyone in general that's going to be there because everyone there is going to be a camping enthusiast. So we'll see you there. What you'll see in this video is what we got up to during the event. We meet up with heaps of different people, some people you'll recognise from Modified, other YouTubers, and just various people that you may recognise actually. We also check out different vehicle setups, some camp setups, and as it's a cooking show with Harry that's got plenty of banter. I have also made this video viewer friendly, so you can jump down in the description below and you can skip to any part of the video that you wish. Alright, well welcome to Cobark. I've just put my chair out, but we've been here for, I don't know, four hours. Had a chance to sit down. Had loads of people come over, say good day to us. Uh, Wayne's talking to one, some people now, Torben's talking to someone else. Uh, followers, fans, Patreons. It's been pretty awesome. I'm pretty fried, I need to sit down. Um, so I might take 15 minutes now, but we're going to go over it. Harry's going to do some cooking demonstrations in a second. And uh, I'm going to go over there. We're going to have a dirty Harry steak cook-off. So that means meat straight in the coals. So let's walk around the camp so we can have a look. So this is where I'm set up. Uh, this is my new awning, my special $115 awning. So I went from zero awnings to two awnings. This is another $115 job. I haven't chopped this one yet. Uh, this here is the RV swag tent. Now, Amalia, who's holding the camera right now, uh, she doesn't have a swag. She, she flew over. So I've got the ARB uh, double dome, sky dome. Torben and his single ARB sky dome. We've got the Darchi something rather. Wayne, you're stealing some chips, mate. Never. That's right, I don't like them anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what up, Cheezles? I haven't tried one for years. <laughs> Doesn't like them. It's pretty good. <laughs> I like them. You've changed. I have. <laughs> Wayne's tent. Alucab. What's it called? Shadow tent. What? <laughs> no, that's, that's the awning, awning. isn't it? <laughs> Shadow awning. That's yeah, the Expedition 3 um, mm. tent. So, has it been full on since we got here? Yeah, it's been pretty cool though, meeting everyone and all their setups. It's just, mm. you know, just blowing me away. <laughs> and we went from sweating, getting away from the sun, to now, are you getting cold? Yeah, I'm a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a shirt on there. Tomorrow we're going to have a look around. There's some really freaking awesome setups around here. <laughs> Completely unusual stuff. Yeah. Stuff that we wouldn't use, but still, I reckon it's still really cool because some of you guys might like that style of camping. Um, well, I met one couple before, and they're like, they can't make the mind up what to buy now. Yeah, oh, because there's too much going on. Oh man, it's like, yeah, well, that's a good setup. That's yeah. a good setup. Oh, <laughs> so it's Friday today, tomorrow's Saturday, so we'll go around and have a look at the setups tomorrow. 
and um, then we're here Sunday and then we head off on a trip. Yeah. Yeah. Hello Torben. Hello Rhonda. Yeah. What's happening? Uh, nothing. Didn't do it. Wasn't yeah. me. It was him. There's nothing in your travel buddy. Nothing in my travel buddy. I'm just making sure <laughs> Harry et has been talking about it. <laughs> yeah. Now for people who have watched the Amber you're going to think that he's sponsored by Travel buddy, he's not, he just loves it. Oh, <laughs> it's mint. You haven't seen that episode yet? It no. Comes up. I have to put it in the bottom. No, Torben is not sponsored by Travel Buddy, he just loves it. <laughs> <laughs> and best. I love his Travel Buddy. It is the best thing. When Especially my when pies are in it. Yeah. <laughs> How's that box of pies that was we found on the middle of the track? Yeah. So where are you going? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, but well, they haven't seen it. They, have, no, they would have seen it. Yeah. Alright. No? There's no, yeah, no, they would have, because this won't air until after. Of course. Yeah. All right. We just had a realization. Oh, yeah. We are fried. Episode four No, episode four is your birthday. Then we got messy. Mm. So we're gonna up that ante this weekend. I think so. All right. Let's go see Harry. Cheers. Is my um? Has your audio checked? Yeah. Yeah. All good. <laughs> this is so backyard. All right. <laughs> we're in a backyard at Cobark. Yep. Uh, Pretty big backyard. It's a very nice backyard. Yeah, do you want to actually? tell the lovely audience? I can't see half of them. Torben, where's your searchlight? Hello, audience. Hey, hey everyone. Wow, it's like Jay Leno show. <laughs> Tonight, we're doing a dirty steak cook off. We're going to call it the Dirty Harry Steak Cook Off because why not? You're Harry. So you I'm Harry. I'll call it Dirty Harry. You can't name something yourself, so it's a Dirty Harry. He called it Dirty Harry. It's all good. Now, Ronnie's gonna do one, I'm gonna do one. You do yours over there, I'll do mine over here. Prep. Well there? Oh, I'll prepping, do mine oh here. we're prepping. Okay, where's all the spices? There. Yeah, I want more than that. <laughs> Bad luck. Oh, and. He's setting me up. Olive oil. Olive oil, okay. That's all you get. Where's the paprika? No. Nothing fancy. All right, so this is a guaranteed loss to me. <laughs> so uh, I will slip you a beer if you vote for mine <coughs> at the end. All right. I'll, cook, I'll cook your breakfast. He does pretty good breakfast. <laughs> I'm lost. All, All right. right, steak. What type of steak are we using? Scotch fillet. Ooh, scotch fillet. Wow, I have never even seen one before. <laughs> I usually go rump. All right. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna salt first. Everyone likes the oil, right? Then pepper. <laughs> then oil last. <laughs> <laughs> Amateur hour over here. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you might. You oh, might. really? Oh, you, you got a plan, yep. do you? Yeah, I got a plan. Okay. He doesn't. I'm doing American style. Oh, really? Is that what you call? We got steak? oil first, and we got oil after. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, that's my save. Where's your smoker? It's actually really sloppy now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I'm not going to give you any guidance. I've done this before. Have you? Yeah. This, this you is don't a, look this like This is a dirty it. Ronda. Oh, okay, the dirty Ronda. I just feel intimidated right. by you. Ready? <laughs> Three, two, one, go. So you get the good gloves. It's not a race. <laughs> Traditionally, fire is not a great sign on your food, for the record. Cheers, Harry. Oh, cheers. <laughs> For something called a dirty steak, you'd be surprised how clean these end up. All the ash and things don't actually leave any real, uh, it doesn't leave any flavour, it doesn't leave any real residue. Um, they just, it just creates a good sort of crust on it. The trick is, as much heat as possible. So put it on one bit of coal, flip it onto another bit. Don't keep using the same bit. You want to constantly have as much heat onto it as possible. Before you say, we're going to give any tips. Yeah, well, it's too late for you now anyway. 
Oh, is that right? <laughs> and then slap it on the on the uh, breadboard near to the fire, especially on a cold night like this. If it's a hot day, fine, you can leave it off to the side. But a lot of people would <laughs> a lot of people do a lot of different things. They put alfoil over it, and they put you know all, all different things. I find that alfoil will kill the crust. Um, That's good if your taste tester likes pepper. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I didn't think about that. I, I like pepper. <laughs> now we're gonna pick some taste testers. Who are we gonna pick? I'm not done yet. I'm going back in. <laughs> Too soon, Junior. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> All right, shall I pick someone? Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk, talk and pick someone. All right. Perfect, all right. We're gonna get you in as a taste tester. Yeah. And then... I taste yours, not that I don't trust you. You, get, you have to taste both, and you judge. I mean, I'm partially I'm, to him, I'm, preferably. I'm, I'm stopping where I am, actually. No. I'm not going back in. You're, you're quietly confident? No, you've already cooked yours. <laughs> trust me, it'll be the best you Raise your hand if you'd like to be a taste have. tester. We've got a few over here. One here. Come through. Got a few over here. All right, mate. Come on. What's your name? Mitchell. All right, Mitchell's up. Mitchell, you like pepper, right? Yeah, yeah. You like, you like pepper? Oh. I'll get you the slightly less peppery side. <laughs> Don't be mean to this kid and give I'm him not. pepper. I'm not. No, I'm going to give mine a second. Yours is probably ready to go. Do you want to cut it? <laughs> Are you scared at all? No. No? I'm scared <laughs> I don't want to call food poisoning. <laughs> this here is the um, apprentice versus the uh, master chef here. So, underdog. Ronnie. Aussies like underdogs, right? I've just looked at my drink. Oh, <laughs> he filled it with olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be good on my steak. <laughs> Look at that. Seasoning on it. Sabotage you. <laughs> Fierce competition. Got I don't think beer's usually flammable. Got him. In the interest of not poisoning anyone, I haven't made it too rare. I like it probably how it was originally, but... I actually like mine how it was. I think mine's overdone now. No, no, it's not overdone. Thank you. I, I wouldn't trust where those gloves have been. Oh, maybe that, that's where he's hidden the flavour. This is 100% 100% sterile, these. Oh yeah, are they? Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's 100% rare. <laughs> Alright, I think it's taste test <laughs> time. One of each. I reckon. Okay. What's your name? Tara. Tara, okay. Anybody got a bucket? <laughs> <laughs> Which one was that? Yours. <laughs> Damn, yours is good, Harry. Mm. Actually, I probably like yours better. Really? Fair enough. <laughs> it's okay, Harry. Okay. <laughs> Mike? That's one for me! Oh. That was one for Ronnie. <laughs> Just don't take from the far left end. So this is Ronnie's? This is yours. That's mine, okay. I feel I should lose. I put oil of oil in his drink. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Ronnie, you nailed it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad. Drink up. <laughs> Grab one of these. Whoa. A little bit, little bit Mitch. Okay. No, you're right. Oh, you grabbed that piece. You're the man. <laughs> Cave man. Yeah. Okay. Put it there, buddy. Yeah. And then try, you want to try that piece as well? Yeah. And see which one you like more? Nah, that's good enough. <laughs> He's like, nah, this is good. <laughs> yeah. Well done, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
welcome to Saturday morning. Now this side of the country, in Cobarc, it is bloody cold in the morning. So what better way to start the morning than with a coffee? And not just any coffee, fresh ground coffee. No, no one can spot it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a fire, it's a... Can warmer. Yeah, it's my... Based, then a full top up. Yeah, no, that's oh, fine. Oh, you were first. <laughs> it took a while to feel it, though. Yep. Love the gloves, James. Good? Mate, it's the only way. <laughs> so good, eh? It's the only way when it's freezing in Cobar. Keep the fingertips uh, active. James Mandy and Mike from Curated Adventures. Both these blokes are from Perth as well. And you'll see James in an upcoming series. So we had an endless supply of fresh water at the camp at Camp Kobach. And the cool thing is we then also have endless amounts of shower water. Yep, there are showers there and they are gas heated. We have a troopy here and we're with two Americans, JD and his mate Randy. Where'd you just come from? Seattle? Seattle, yep. You've been here for a while. About six months since September. And so that's yeah. Well, and you're well. waiting for this trip here to become 25 years old, so you can take yeah. it back to the US. Yeah. What state? Washington. Same state as Randy. Yep. yep. We yep. grew up together. So I've kind of been working at Drifta for the last uh, six months or so, mm. doing the programming for the CNC router and whatnot, and <laughs> bought this troopy off uh, Luke, the owner, and um, oh, this just, was his. Yeah, yeah. It was a work truck came over from America to buy this troopy and then um, I've just kind of built it all out while I was there and just finished it up like oh, three days ago. So this is your design then? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I did all this custom engraving on the back and... Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I just took a picture from the troopy like a beach and then just uh, it's doing a bit of a world trip so I felt like the whole earth kind of just engraved there. These push buttons? Yeah. So this is kind of like a standard kitchen that Drifter makes, but I've customized this end of it because the troop is too high. So usually these go on the back of trailers. Oh, so, so stand like this. Yeah, yeah. So normally the cook sets up here. So I've just kind of gutted it out. Got that tucker box there that just slides on over the top of the stove. A lot of the way you sleep here. So I get in through the front door. It's a bit easier, but yeah, you still have the rear access if you want. Um, keeps it clean and calculated up the whole storage space underneath the bed frame and it comes out. It's like my pantry. So where does that go? That, go, that slides right over the top of this. Oh, on here? Yeah, yeah, so that's pretty clever. Yeah, so it's the kitchen's kind of designed with like two different modes. Actually, I can't slide that on because I got the gas just on. the gas. Yeah. Um, but it's got kind of two different modes. Like the halfway mode is like your pit stops where you can do like uh, sandwiches and stuff. Hmm. I make lots of wraps or whatever. So you only have to pull it out halfway and then you've got that tucker box you just pull the stuff out and put it here to make a sandwich real quick and then um if you want to do like a full stop you do you pull it all the way out throw the legs down get the nice. gas bottle out and this is, this is just extra storage space so it flips down ah. i usually just use that for dirty dishes or whatever kind of out of the way so jd you were telling me this was the the what room this is the guest room the guest room yeah how does Randy feel being out here and maybe with the luxury? You know, this is standard stuff in uh, America, sleeping in tents when you're camping, this whole swag thing and, yeah. Older They're a little lot white. Yeah, no, I, I use that for backpacking and up in the mountains and stuff, so it's kind of dual purpose. Oh, uh, yeah, you can't yeah. really hawk up a mountain with a swag. No, you can't. <laughs> yeah. This is all you're carrying then. Yeah. Uh, almost everything on the troopy has got a dual purpose. Yeah, you got the shower as well and you, yep. got, you got the heater. Yep, shower, well, no heater. Unless you're talking about the... Oh, you got the gas oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. So, hot shower. Um, Where's your fridge? The fridge is actually behind the passenger seat. So... Because I think if you're going to shower, you got a fridge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to cover those bases. What's your camping hack? The camping hack is the troopy. It changes <laughs> everything. <laughs> your camping hack. Bring enough beer. <laughs> Damn, he stole mine. 
I think Randy's got that camping hat pretty well covered. Do you recall seeing modified episode number 46 with the army parenti? Well, we're catching up with Steve and there are two more that are there. Hi Steve. Yeah, good mate, good. Good to see you. So this is Steve's truck in the flesh, or steel, sorry. Nickname Ammo, that's his nickname by the way. If you've watched the uh, episode, you know about that one. Steve showed us around the other two parentes that were there. Now they weren't quite as modified or changed up or finished as much as his one. However, they are well on their way. And as you can see, there's plenty of room in these trucks to pretty much do anything you want inside it. More like a caravan style, I guess you could do. This camping hack is all about this Land Cruiser split rim that's been welded and used as a fire pit. No need to go and buy one. Johnny? How you going? Hey mate. Good. Hilux, what year? 98. Hilux, my um, LM106. Rooftop? Yep, uh, King's Tour. How long have you had that for? Um, it'd be just over 12 months. So, what do you mainly do in your full drive? Touring? Just outback touring, yeah. Outback touring, yep. This make and model Hilux has been highly requested for Modified, so if I do ever get around there again to see Johnny, I think we'll have to hit him up for a Modified, because that is a perfect type of vehicle for a segment. Velcro and carpet, like it's meant to happen. Here's a bit of a cool camping hack. Notice you've got all this, what is it, carpet? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you want to show us? Just marine carpet. Cool idea. Yeah. Um, so cheap to do as well. As long as it's light. Yeah, as long as they're light. Like my phone, I can go for a drive and the pet's just hung up there. Oh yeah? Yeah. The Muda Triangle. Well, how do I tell this one? We found an FJ that had a keg in the back. This fella was pouring us nice frothies, homebrew frothies from the back of his FJ. And the whole idea about the Bermuda Triangle, well, you kind of don't know how to get out of there. You kind of get stuck, you get lost, you lose track of time. Harry was actually looking for me for quite some time because we had a cooking show looming. That's good. <laughs> I can't reach. <laughs> You're a hop, so this has got... Um... I wouldn't have a clue, but I drink a lot of beer. Okay. So, Galaxy, um, Vic Secret, and Ella. So... They're all Australian hops, all Australian grown. We've found Luke, he's entered the Bermuda Triangle as well. We're still at the FJ with the um, kegs, we, just, we can't escape. Uh, we're now into a plastic cup. How you going Luke? Yeah, good mate. Cheers. Cheers mate. What, what do you reckon that one? Yeah, I'm still trying to get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Fight through the phone. That's no, good, very good. How's Is that it? a Pilsner? Yeah, it's a Larky, which is a Pilsner. Yeah. Isn't it IPO? You've got an IPA, but Luke's got a lager now, so because oh, yeah. I know he likes lager. So. Yeah. yeah, this is good, mate. Nice, oh, really good. Mm. Nice colour, texture. Mine's very pale ale, like American pie. Pale ale. <laughs> fruit, fruit juice. <laughs> Orange juice, that one. <laughs> Orange juice that slaps you in the face. <laughs> How's the event going so far? Yeah, great, mate. It's really good. Mm. It's amazing, isn't it? Just a oh, really cool vibe it's... and really cool atmosphere and. Well, twice the size of last year, I reckon. Yeah, at least, yeah. yeah. And, and the dunny is a different colour. Yeah, I know. I wasn't real happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got trouble about that. Not really? Oh, I just don't like those bloody fluoro yellow dunnies. Yeah, they were orange last time, weren't they? Yeah, I especially went down last time and picked out yeah, nice looking dunnies. <laughs> I said, yeah, the same ones as last year, and look what turns up. But yeah. Anyway, that's the worst. They look that like happens. giant 44s. <laughs> they do, actually, a diesel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As long as they don't fill up too quick, then... That's all that really matters, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell people they're giant 44s. Yeah. If you sort of for toilets, okay, and there's firewood, then everything yeah, else is... that's all that matters. Oh, speaking yeah. of firewood, we need some firewood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, uh... 
The following scenes are the aftermath of the Bermuda Triangle. So there is a bit of dribbling going on here. We are now going to talk to Tofty, the man who's responsible for starting this type of event. Also, Mr. Buckaroonie and Harry jump in for a chat. Oh, Toffee, how you going, mate? How you going, Tom? All right? Good, mate. Come over to our campsite. Yeah, You've mate. sort of been avoiding us this year. You know, you were here last year. I fed you. I watered you. <laughs> this year, he's right, just... I fed you. Yeah, yeah. You did, actually. No, no, we about, fed each other. Yeah, at yeah. about, it's like you guys. Not with spoons. Three o'clock in the morning, I think your pulled pork was ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. It was good. <laughs> the lights were out, you know. Everything tastes good at three in the morning. Definitely. So how's it been? What do you reckon? Yeah, good, mate. We hear that you are responsible for these events. Yes, I, um, you know, I had a brother just like Torman. And I, I'm sorry. Poor man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I was feeling depressed and I thought, well, what better to bring everyone together? No. Nah, so you're going to avoid brother? <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. So, oh, yeah, really I said to... talking it up there. Yeah. No, a friend of mine, Brett, he's over here, hooker. Him and I yep. talked about... I'm an ex-community worker. And one of the things I said to him... Um, in Queensland, I felt like it'd be really cool to get together and do a community event, you know, where you bring, doesn't matter what you own, but everyone kind of say, look at, like, I've got the latest dot here, Luke's is there, Bucko's in the middle with, you know, he's got King's products, he's got, you know, mm. all stuff from Patriot BCF, trailers, Patriot Trailers, caravans, mate, whatever. We've got people camping out of the uh, two wheel drives. Yep. Um, people from bloody Singapore. Yeah, Kedron, yeah. everything, mm. mate. So, I just wanted to bring people together, basically. And I don't know how you reckon, but that's why I invited you over last year to come and see what it was like. But all surprised, yeah. It, it's a good vibe, isn't it? Because mm. you can go to trade shows, all that sort of crap. People are trying to sell you stuff. Yeah. This isn't like that. Yeah, and that's right. one thing I want to mention here is it's so not commercial. All no. those organised by Drifter, it's so not commercial. Because and we get asked by lots of different companies yeah. they want to come and sell and do all this stuff because it's such a good event. Mm. We don't want to do that. Like mm. it's, it's actually about just learning from others. Like, so you would have had heaps of people. I'm sure you two, especially. You know, we've seen you on the TV. You've done this. Why'd you do that? Yeah. Maybe you haven't had any of that talk. Oh, well, not much. Just keep <laughs> asking about Ronnie. Looks... I, I, I'm I'm awesome. Back. What are you doing for the next three weeks? And he goes, Whoa! Look at that. There you go, Mr. From our Buccaroonie. Sponsor. <laughs> hey, get Mr. Buccaroonie in. Hey, get in here. Get in here. Here we so, go. Buck's been mer look. So this year, instead of feeding you, I'm feeding Mr. Buck. Mr. Buck <laughs> YouTube. Coconut <laughs> curry chicken for dinner tonight, boys. You want to try? Some? I hope I get Ooh. some to try, Buck, because you know you've eaten me out of house and home. <laughs> well, so we've had Harry cooking for us, so we haven't eaten. Yeah. It's great to see you don't drink forex. Yeah. Great right right northern up north. Yeah. Great right northern North Queensland. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's getting popular up there it's now. It's a great drop. But what's, it is. It's a what's, nice what's, what's the go with the NRL adopting VB? Instead? Yeah, we're a bit worried no, about don't that. Don't tell mate. us about yeah. that. Yeah. Vomit bombs. And that Can't is why it. Queensland <laughs> Queensland will lose the origin yeah, because VB sponsors us. Oh, we're in mate. trouble. The, mate. The, amount, the amount of comments that are going on right now below. Yeah. Me, me taking Vomit, a piece out of Forex. I used to drink Forex. I used to drink VB. Yeah. And that's that's what's made me today. Yeah. And then you came around. Yeah, and here I am. Nah, Hanging out with these three. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> bad, isn't it? What are you on there, Ronnie? You're on the bloody... What is that? That's that's beer from the FJ. Oh, that's the keg you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, I yeah. didn't get over there. I was yeah. cooking the, cooking it's, the it's, coconut it's, curry. So up. it's at the red FJ. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, there was the a yellow red one. FJ. What's the it's most the uh, interesting thing that you've come across so far? Torben. Well, other than Toffee. Torben. <laughs> Torben, yeah. So... <laughs> You've got to come to our house, man. Like, oh, the party's <laughs> on. <laughs> the most interesting thing we've come across. Yeah, what's the most interesting thing you've seen here so far? I'll look at a mirror. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I've noticed something different. So, guys, yeah, they have noticed something oh, different already from last year. So you've showered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he's actually he's actually pruned a bit, hasn't yeah. he? I've pruned a bit. Yeah. I'm not Santa Claus this year. Yeah. I well, like your joke. What do you call a man without a beard? A woman. A woman. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, 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 oh. Hey, this is three weeks, mate. Give me a break. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, no. This Poppy's has got the bump yeah. fluff going. This yeah. has hit me for sixes. Yeah. Mm. No. What, what percentage is that? Park. 6.7. Holy moly. Yeah, and he kept feeding them to me. I'm trying to do like camping hacks we're... and tips over there. And... I think we're wow. three in it for you. I'm yeah. glad I interviewed you an hour ago and not now. Yeah, well. Yeah, and then they hand me this. I was supposed to drink water because I've got a cooking show coming up. Yeah, wow, it's going to be an interesting cooking yeah, show tonight. Yeah. No, no, hey, when you get over there, you've got to teach Harry how to cut wood. Yeah. He, the out, axe hit it 
and nearly oh, hit him yeah. back in the forehead. Yeah, he nearly yeah, split yeah. himself. He was nearly out of action. You need a Viking. For West Aussie was nearly yeah. in trouble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah mate. West Queensland's yeah. going. We've got the coconut curry chicken going over there. So Harry's got. Yeah. Oh, he's I got reckon we're on. I would have paid to see that. See. Oh, there is a dent, isn't there? What? What do you do? Chop a wood, haven't you? <laughs> we, were watching you, we were watching you bounce wood before, like... Uh, yeah, well, Buck lived up to his name. <laughs> <laughs> the Axeman of North Queensland, they yeah. call me. Better at bucking wood than me. Yeah. <laughs> Harry took your feedback on really well, I noticed. He just went, look at this deal. old geezer. No, I went awesome. I don't yeah. have to do this anymore. There you go, I spun around for you. You've got to try this. It's from an FJ. Is that a home brew keg? That's where I tried to find you. Straight oh, out of the yeah, field tank. Did you get stuck bro. in a boonah triangle? It looks like Dizo. Yeah. Ronnie, you yeah. can throw that in the field tank. <laughs> no, you That'll run the cruiser, mate. Not. <laughs> <laughs> like it's flat, but it's yeah. not that easy. Yeah. Yeah. Try the lager. All right. That's yeasty ours, actually. Yeah. I think we're dribbling a lot here, so... It needs to be, yeah. oh, it needs to be filtered. Fair bit of you drink. reckon? But we don't dribble. We'd like to say thanks for coming over, and you guys all the way, and Harry. Yeah, thanks, mate. Thanks for having us. It's been good. It was then time for the second cooking show with Harry, although it is just a brief view of what we did. We basically did some deep frying with some chicken, Harry made this really cool slaw, and then we fed the masses, followed by Harry doing another cooking demonstration with one of the boys from Pip Brothers. Now, Harry had a busy night. Gave him a bit of a go, and then... Yeah. It's a Ziploc bag. <laughs> <laughs> so... Welcome to Sunday morning. Now both Saturday night and Friday night we're hanging around with patrons of the channel, the loyal supporters of the channel and various fans and followers. So we did put the cameras away for quite a bit of it and it was pretty hectic and it was a lot of fun. So this morning we're going to check out some of the patrons who are camping right nearby. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. How are you? Oh, you yeah. didn't say you had Paul. coffee. Paul, I see Paul. <laughs> well, I saw, hey, Roddy. Right. Paul. Paul. Yeah. Two Pauls. Two Pauls. Yeah. Hard Paul's, to forget. I'll spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that is, that's a cool rig without even having too much of a look. <laughs> <laughs> coffee, anyone? <laughs> Ooh. Yep. Let's <laughs> this one out. There's enough. The shandy. Oh, that is neat. You've only had it, what, 10 months? Yeah, 10 months, and it's been in the shop for about six of those 10 months, so... <sighs> right, so we're going to go check out two other patrons that are here. Two separate camps. Morning. Morning. Hey, mate. So this is Mark. Hello. This is Patrick. Hello. And there's, there's a firekeeper. What Hello. was your name again, buddy? Sebastian. 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 Yeah. Good job there, mate. Might give Harry some tips, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and this is our little chef. And what was your name, buddy? Malachi. Malachi? Malachi. Malachi. Making pancakes. Apparently, oh. Ronnie's got one coming. A pancake, so. Uh, yep. Is that right? I like the sound of that. Yeah. Awesome. You got a sus, mate. Oh no, one yeah, looking after the, 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 the kids look are looking the after us. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, something uh, just behind Patrick here. We've got the same table at home, and it might look like a kid's table, it kind of is, but two adults can actually sit on it. You're just going to make sure that um, you sit on opposite corners, because otherwise it gets a bit picky. They're pretty light, eh? They're good, they're good. Folds up, so. A bit fiddly to open, but once you know, once you open it, it's good. Yeah, they're pretty cheap as well. Yeah, eBay. eBay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're gonna get it from BCF. Yeah. Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah. um, let's have a look at um, your setup. Sure. Because I like the way you've you've um, well, you pretty much knocked it up in what one day. Yeah. So this is the so it's a Lexus. LX470. LX470, so is it a V8? V8 petrol. V8 petrol. Um, it's a 100 series Sahara 3 batch. Yeah. With air much. suspension. Yeah. So this, this is where he sleeps? So it's <coughs> just the um, basic. So how you done it? Um, basically 
some pieces of pine used a router to put a channel through it and then I've got a piece of yellow tongue fitting into the channel with just some glue around it and uh, just some legs screwed on and um, a reinforcing piece along the bottom just for stability so it's a bit of a box frame um, just a power board which I can either run from my inverter or I can plug into 240 volts and plug my charges into that and charge everything in one go when 240 volts is available and yeah fridge you knocked this up in one pretty much just before we got here, right? Eh? Yeah, I finished it the night before I was leaving. It's a big fridge. Yeah. It's um, a massive fridge. I was going to go for the 75. I wanted the dual zone. Uh, that's a big thing because when you got the divider, I could never get it cold enough to keep ice creams frozen without the fridge freezing as well. Yeah, I've got that same problem, actually. So that's I went point. for the dual zone and I was going to go <laughs> for the 75 litre, but the 95 litre is only a few dollars more not much wider just a bit of extra length and i just decided if i'm gonna spend that much money i might as well get one little extra 20 liters Listen, out of better. curiosity can you turn one zone off in a dual yes. zone fridge you can you can that's awesome yeah i've got your ice cream too by the way awesome yeah <laughs> don't forget don't don't don't, don't leave. forget before you pack and leave <laughs> i know where you'll be next weekend <laughs> yeah you will <laughs> you're hunting me down for my ice cream yep shower this is a shower yeah yeah so uh just uh hot water on demand um, shower set up and you got your outdoor pergola. Yep. Barbecue. Yep. Yeah. New set up. Yeah. And all this fits inside the car, you'll tell me. Yeah, before. it fits in there pretty comfortably. Um, I had plenty of rear vision and everything like that. Uh, the plan was to put the gazebo on the roof, but I didn't need to. I just threw it on top of the bed to reduce the wind resistance when I was driving and uh, went mm. well. It was then time for pancakes, cooked by the little man himself, Malachi. Great pancakes, buddy. Loved it. It was really cool to get a chance to hang out with all these people who are really following the channel and, you know, just getting their direct feedback and, and ideas for future content. So it was really, really awesome. And I did pretty well this morning, didn't I? Free pancakes, free coffee. What's next? So camp next to us, we've got some patrons over here supporting the channel. How are we going guys? Hi, good, good morning. Good morning. So this is Rebecca, Daniel. Hey. How'd you sleep? Good. Yeah, good. Pretty cold. I think we're beginning to adapt actually. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, chilly. Do you, do you mind if we just walk through your camp real quick? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. have a look. <laughs> uh, so RV3. This feels like quite luxurious. Are you, you normally go slags then? Uh, more often than not now. Yeah, because more often than not time. we're doing like, you know, set up, pack up, set up, pack up, traveling, you know. So you stay a couple of days now? Uh, well, off. we have this just pretty much for when we camp like this, oh, which okay. isn't very often. Mm. <laughs> um, we used to use this for like, over, like for set up, pack up, like traveling as well, but swag is a lot easier because, you know, this is a 30 second tent, but that you got to set up your bedding and all that whereas swag yeah. roll it out like it's the swag is the true 30 second tent <laughs> yeah, 30 seconds just pulling out a bag and open yeah. it you still got to peg all this down and yeah that's right that's yeah. right yeah. <laughs> right. this is one of the best 76's that I've seen set up I reckon we're going to have to come back and do a modified um, so I'm just going to have a brief look around it because we're going to talk about this for ages. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little bit to go. Yeah. Oh, I still don't want to go. Oh, yeah. It's a bit of a project. Yeah. Every trip is sort of tweak. Oh, I absolutely love that rear bar. Yeah. It's a, a clever one. So what do you call these? The gull wings? Gull wings, yeah. That's such a good idea. Oh, front runner. So shower tent? Uh, yeah, so that's one of the um, quick pitch shower tents. It's just a pre-production version, that's why it's in that bag like that. There were plenty of vehicles at this event that I would have shot a modified on, this being one of the top ones. So I think we'll have to make this happen in future, wherever it be in a different state or wherever it might be, it's got to happen. So this is probably the cleanest my camp oven's ever been since I bought it. Because I cleaned it. 
<laughs> you weren't too happy with it yesterday, were you? I wasn't. I'm about to start the start the cooking demo, and I open up the camp oven. It's full of sand and grease, and like, everything's all caked on. I'm going, like, oh no! I have to extra keep flavor. people out of this. <laughs> but look at it now. It cleans up beautifully. Tips for cleaning it up: hot water, soap. Hot water, soap, um, and always a bit of heat. Don't, Did you use fuel? I didn't. No, uh, be, be, because we had oil in it last night. Oh, I was all loose. Um, it was, you know, it was perfectly sort of seasoned and oiled and everything. But I'm not putting any extra oil on this because all the oil does. I mean, look, you, a lot of people say oil you can't have enough to use it. I actually don't reckon you do. I reckon just dry it because then less stuff sticks to it. Yeah, there's already oil in the metal anyway. Yeah, it's already seasoned, so as long as it's dry, moisture is the only thing that causes rust. Mm. But if it's dry, it's fine. Bone dry. Bone dry. Ah, Kaido. There you go. We're going to give you the news, mate. Alright, what's this? Okay. Well, the first one is you and Luca joining us to the Barrington. Alright. So, so now you guys can show us around. Yeah. The second one is um, your trailer. Mm -hmm. I'm taking that across the Madigan. That, that one over there. No, this one here. Oh, this one here? Yeah. Ah, right. That's yours, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Oh, yeah. Well, I'll look after just it. Don't damage it. <laughs> Where's the Madigan? Uh, Madigan, that's um, uh, the Simpson Desert. Yeah. But it's, it's a track that goes through the Northern Territory. Oh, yeah. Right. Some, sometimes there's no track, sometimes there's a track. Yeah. What, depending on the season? Uh, yeah, it depends on how many people have been there and depends on the winds, the rains, but yeah, yeah but 1100 sand dunes. Really? Yeah. Alright. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'll let you know. Give it a good workout. <laughs> yeah. That is the first dot that came out of the factory, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Well, I, built, I built that for myself when I come back from America, like we're talking about, and I also got an idea from America for a trailer. And um, came back and I, I made that one as the very first trailer, and then we started, um, you know, it was obviously uh, something we could uh, build and sell, and we sort of started the dot factory. And, but that was the very first one, so it's dot number 001, and we've numbered all our trailers since then up to what we've got now, which what is are you up to? about 270 now. Yeah, because it's, it's a rooftop tent style of trailer, and that's sort of the idea we had, but um, that's great. The rooftop tents are great on top of the trailers, but, you know, the bag and folding them out is always a lot of work. So we've sort of gone to this, which is a, a hard shell, a clam shell, which opens up really quick. And um, we've, we've made it bigger so you can fit a queen-size mattress in there. So it's got a <laughs> queen-size in spring, six-inch mattress, which is amazing. So Six-inch mattress. Yeah, it'll yeah. fit that in there. So... For a rooftop tent, that's sort of unheard of. You know, normally they've got quite thin mattresses, mm. and um, so we've made a bigger um, clamshell, so it just opens up instantly. And the other big thing everyone doesn't like is the ladder on, on rooftop tents. The ladder's always the main problem. And as soon as you get maybe a, you know you get a bit older and you got a sore hip or a sore knee, very hard up and down the ladder. So mm. um, what we've done is the walk-up design. We flipped it around 180 so it faces the front, <coughs> and then that's the style there. So. It makes it just so easy to access and you can get straight into bed and that's been a big design, um, how we've done that. So there's no ladder. And the rest of the trail is sort of um, fairly similar to uh, everything else we've done over the years. It's still a six foot trailer with a canopy. So it's, um, um, so it's pretty similar to the one that I towed on the family trip? It is, yeah. Just yep. the top? Just different top. Oh, and you got the new suspension on this one? Yes, yeah, so come on mm. this side, have a quick look. We've got the new vehicle components, Cruise Master independent airbag suspension. So. That's been great. A lot of advantages having the airbag as well. You've got, we've got an air tank, so a 30 litre air tank. We've got um, a, an outlet as well, so you can pump your tyres up, which is really good. You've got a central point for pumping tyres. And you can individually adjust when you get to camp to level the trailer up and also lower the trailer to suit you know, the height. Get in the garage and stuff as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. The big problem, very common with people, is their garage height. And normally they're only just short by 100 mils or so, but you can drop this trailer down 150 mils to get into a garage, which is a really big advantage. Mm. Yeah. So if you anyway. want to know more about the trailer, I guess you can jump on the Luke's channel because he goes really in depth when in the trailer and stuff. There's a few videos on this one, yeah. Yeah, then we're going to do some more soon. Yeah, do some so, here, aren't you? Yeah. Because yeah. you only just built it, so. Yeah, finished two days yeah. ago. This one. It's been a long time in the making and a lot of R and D. Building our own rooftop tent has been a big challenge, something we hadn't done before, and mm. um, so that R and D takes a long time, and we've finally finished now. So.
Anyway, thanks for coming over too because it's been a wonderful event, hasn't it? Yeah, no, it's been with, awesome. Um, yeah. Had a great night last night and Friday night. And yeah, I was here last year and, and it was good and this year is, is awesome. Yeah, it's about um, twice the size, isn't it? And yeah, had the Pip Brothers cooking, yeah. had me and Harry doing a bit of Yeah, he's had some great little shows there, there cooking. So the band it's really playing. growing into something special, isn't it? You know, we'll do it again next year and it'll be mm. bigger again. And um, So it's just a wonderful atmosphere out here at Camp Carback, really nice spot and yeah. uh, everyone's Everyone's bought their different camp setups and all sort of part of a big big family and it's just a nice atmosphere for everyone so it's, Definitely. it's become a great event. And what I really like about this event is you kept it very non-commercial so you don't have all these stalls of people, yeah, it's, yeah. it's just people hanging out. Yeah, and no, it's just low key and it's just having to come and enjoy and you know it's all started from the from the fan page on Facebook and uh, the mm. Drifter fan page and it doesn't matter if you just got a swag in the ground or a a caravan or anything in between, you know, it's just yeah. if you're a drifter fan, you're welcome to come. The main thing, the common link is just the love of camping. It's just a big camping group, really. It's a great way to make friends and, you know, a lot of people made friends last year at last year's event and a lot of people made friends at this year's event and, yeah. you know, it's just uh, an amazing sort of event. It's quite unique and, um, yeah, been, so it's a really nice to be awesome. part of it. And just seeing all different setups and yeah. different caravans, camping trailers. Yeah, that's the thing too, people can wander cars. around and look at different setups because it's sort of like the big family. Yeah. You know, you can just feel you know, welcome to wander into people's camps and have a look, and that's mm. a big part of what's happening, because camping is a real uh, reflection of people's personality. You know, some people are really organised and some people aren't so organised, but so many different setups. There's 200, over 200 campsites here, and everyone's a little bit different. Oh, is it that many? so interesting <laughs> just to walk around and look at them all, and, yeah. and also camping is about getting ideas, you know, and it's the ultimate spot to walk around and get ideas and talk to people, and everyone's done their little things differently, and mm. that's the great thing about this event too, is just getting ideas of how to camp. There's ideas galore here, which is nice. Definitely. I think you've got every product on the planet here from all different yeah. places. Yeah. So, all Excellent. right. Well, Thanks um, very much, Ron. Yeah. Good to have you back here again. Yeah. And, Cheers, uh, Luke. Do you reckon this will be an annual thing? Yeah, for sure. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Here is a sneak peek of the next series to come.